Hello, this is my friends. This is Marty Eddington. And I'm starting a new video blog today about happiness, longevity, personal freedom, all the things that I consider dear and most important to me, I want to express to you. And I hope by doing this, it'll make your lives happier and more fulfilling. I don't claim that I'm any great genius, and I'm not trying to set myself up as some type of religious figurehead. But I do feel that with my background, I have a really good melding of the technical, scientific, and the spiritual, philosophical aspects of life, which I would like to share with people because I believe that's an S a way to live in the 21st century, to live a modern view of life. So in this blog series, I'm gonna be talking about a variety of things to express my personal philosophy has to do with the spiritual aspects of our life but unencumbered by a lot of the dogma and ritual that's in many religions, has to do with the melding of science and holistic health and how the two of them need to work better together, and uh, there are other topics that have to do with our happiness. I want to tell people about this information so that you can read more of my other blog articles and learn more about the implementation of this philosophy, the 10 Principles of Personal Longevity. I think when you see how exciting this can be in your life to make your life more fulfilling and happier, then you will become as excited as I am about this approach I've developed. The first thing I would like to tell you in this blog series is about how I developed my integrated philosophy and why I think it's important to have this type of approach in the modern day world. This philosophy was developed over a period of time where I grew up in a technical household, a family of engineers and managers, um, naturally learned a lot about technical things and engineering, always doing electronic kits and uh, this was before home computers. The importance of all this uh, in my life and my parents direction led me to go to engineering school and become an engineer and then to get a traditional corporate career in uh, technical sales and later becoming a software developer. But in parallel with that I was always fascinated by the unknown ever since I read a book at the age of 11 I think it was called Stranger Than Science by Frank Edwards where he had many stories that were unbelievable and paranormal and just straight spooky that I thought there must be some truth to this. So this led me in my teenage years to examine all sorts of evidence that I could collect. And remember this was before the internet so I had to go to the library or read different books and experiment with psychic and spiritual phenomena. Then in college I had a mentor a middle-aged blind physicist psychic, if you will, his name was Sam Lentine, who taught me about meditation and opening my chakras, taking in energy, doing healing, and I continued that all the way through my life as a parallel track to my business career. So I developed and had many spiritual experiences, many premonitional experiences, and that led me to the philosophy of life I've got today, and this is what I'm going to share with you going into future episodes. So thank you for listening and I will be doing this blog hopefully several times weekly and looking forward to having you as a viewer. Thank you very much.